I'm doing it in the dark. Nor all of the cups I need to wash. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Honestly, growing up, I didn't know anyone else who like ate cream of wheat, but it is so good. And that's all I really have to say about that. Like, I don't know if this is like, comment down below if you know what cream of wheat is or if you've had it. I'm genuinely curious. explain why it's so good but it is so I'm gonna go enjoy this and then I will be right back here to make my coffee I don't know if it's coming across this way to you guys right now on your screens, but from my perspective looking in the viewfinder, I look like The Walking Dead. And am I going to do anything about that? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? So now that we've gotten that out of the way, today's vlog is going to be a work day in my life. I thought that it would be fun to just turn on the camera today and do a little daily vlog and bring you guys along with me to show you what like a full work day in my life looks like. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah, it is nice to meet you. I am 22 years old, I'm living in New York City. I moved here in the fall of 2021. I graduated college last spring with a degree in marketing and my job is being a full-time content creator. Obviously this job and this industry as a whole is pretty new. I don't think a lot is really known about it if you're not kind of in the middle of it. So I just thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I do, what kind of goes on behind the scenes, and what goes into the content that you guys see on my channel. I also think it's really important for me to say that everybody in this industry's workflow is different on the creator side because we are like technically self-employed. We can kind of do things however we want. So it is different for everybody. So this is only from my perspective. I can't speak for anyone else who does this same thing or anybody else in this industry. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm really excited to show you this. I don't think I've, have I done like a full on just work day in my life? I've definitely included some content creation work things in other vlogs, but that's what, that's the whole thing today that we're doing. Ooh, the lighting. Welcome to my office. This is my desk. This is where I do all of my work. I'm, I need to wipe off my screens right now. They have so many fingerprints and it's actually driving me bananas. I'm giving up on the screen thing. It's not working. I've tried Windex too. That doesn't work either. Today I am going to be working on the video that I filmed yesterday and it is due tomorrow. One of the facets of content creation for me is doing work with brands. So it's essentially advertising, except I am planning, shooting, editing, and publishing the content of myself and the medium that I am putting it on for the advertising is my channel. 
So this video that I filmed yesterday has a sponsored integration with Casetify, which is my all-time favorite phone case brand. I've worked with them before and I'm very, very grateful to have the opportunity to work with them again. So there are two different types of ads, I guess, um, that content creators typically will do in YouTube videos. There is integrated and dedicated. Dedicated is basically an, the entire video is for that brand or product. But an integration is what you see in my videos. That'll be just like a sponsored portion of the video. Something that I really love about what I do is that it ties in so heavily to what I learned while I was studying marketing in college. So on the creator side, we get what's called a creative brief or a creative deck or something like that. Basically the creative brief is a document that you get sent from the brand or the agency representing the brand. And it outlines everything that you need to know in order to complete your sponsorship to align with the brand's campaign and the objectives. I just pulled up the one for the video I'm editing. I'm not legally allowed to like show it to you, obviously. So while I'm editing this video today, I will be referencing the brief, but I also already took notes on it and I wrote down like the key points that I need to know. So I think that I probably have that covered. I already filmed the whole video except for a couple of B-roll shots that I need to take today. So obviously I'll show you me doing that as well. And then I think I'll be good and I'll have everything that I need to put the video together. I love working with brands on these campaigns. It's just so much fun because so much of what I learned in my advertising classes and my marketing strategy classes in college, I'm seeing in like the real world in play here and I get to actually take part in it. I also need to do a screen recording of the website. That's one of the things that, that they wanted as an on-screen overlay while I'm talking. So I already recorded one of them yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and record, just like do a screen recording of this one, save it. And then I'm gonna import my footage into Final Cut to get it off of my cameras. And then I think I will shoot the B-roll and import that and then we can finally start editing. I'm now going to film the B-roll that I need to film for Casetify. Where did I put my cases? Harley, where did you put the cases? One second. Okay. Basically, I am just gonna put each of the cases on my phone and lay it flat and take a video of it. That's really it. So we have this one that's on it right now, and this one, and this one, and this one. They're also cute. So I'm gonna try and make this look really nice and I'm like hitting it against the nice white background of my desk to make it look professional, hopefully. I'm filming on my main camera right now, but I'm gonna film this on my other camera so that I can film both me doing it. And you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, fuck, I should've just filmed this one first. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Let's see here. I like that. I think I look better against the white. Okay. Yeah, I think I like it better against the white. shot video with this camera before. I usually only use this for photos, but I'm kind of excited to see how it looks. I just got a text 
from my manager and she said she sent me an offer and they need to know by the end of the day. Holy shit, um, I didn't get the email yet, but I'm a little bit nervous. My heart is racing. Oh, there it is. What is it? What great timing that this came while I'm filming this. Holy shit, the concept is due tomorrow. Sorry, oh my god, why am I still filming? Okay, I just got carried away and completely forgot what I was doing. So sorry about that. I replied to the email and I imported the footage. That's like a really exciting brand and product that I just got an email for. What the f was I doing? I imported the footage from the camera and I think it looks really good. I really wanna try and make my brand integration sponsorship clips more professional. Now I have all of the footage I believe that I need in my library and I think I'm ready to start editing finally. I got this computer, this iMac in I think 2019. So they've come out with at least two new versions since then. And I originally was editing on this a lot, but then when I got my new laptop, which I bought that last year, I think it's the 2020 MacBook Pro still has the touch bar. So the new ones don't have the touch bar. I just was editing everything on that because it was so fast. But the advantage of the iMac for me for editing is that the screen is huge. I probably am only gonna use this computer for the rough edit because most of my music and stuff is only downloaded on the MacBook, not this one. This is exciting. I'm excited to edit on this computer. I love the screen. It's just so big and so nice. I need to drink this coffee so I can make another one. Okay, so now it is time to begin rough editing this video. That is really my main goal for today is to get this rough edit completely done. Basically my editing process boils down to two phases. So phase one is the rough edit and that's where I go through all of my raw footage that I shot, try to cut it down to like obviously only what I want to keep in the video. So right now I have an hour and 47 minutes of raw footage that I shot yesterday for this vlog. My average is usually like two to two and a half hours of raw footage. So this is a little bit lower than usual, but I have really been trying to not over film as much. I think that sometimes I just like let the camera go on for too long. So then when I go to edit and I put all of the footage into Final Cut, I'm like, why the f do I have four hours of footage? So I'm trying to be more mindful of what clips I'm getting and only get ones that I know I'm like really gonna use so that it doesn't take me millions of hours to edit. So that's how much footage I have to go through. And I'm probably going to get that down to about 20 minutes, 20 to 30, because then when I do my second phase of editing, I'll further refine it and cut out more things if I don't feel like they need to be in there. But a lot gets cut out. What you guys are seeing, the finished product is only a fraction of everything that I actually filmed. But if I left everything in, it would be so boring because there's a lot of silence and a lot of me sitting there figuring out what I want to say. Sometimes my brain just doesn't work, you know? So that's phase one. And then phase two, I call the creative edit. That's pretty much everything else. With the creative edit, I am putting in music. I'm putting in any overlays, all of the stuff that goes on top of the plain video to make it a like good and interesting video hopefully. So that's the rundown on my editing process. Right now I'm literally just gonna go through this and cut. That's why it's called the rough cut. Okay, I'm gonna start editing now. <laughs> I don't actually know how long it's been since I last spoke to you, but I just got myself some lunch. And today that consists of some heated up chicken noodle soup from the other day 
when I had to make an entire pot of it because my pasta recipe called for chicken broth and I thought I had some, but it turns out the chicken broth that I had actually expired three months ago. So I spiraled and made an entire thing of chicken noodle soup just to take a quarter cup of broth and use it in my pasta recipe. So I'm eating the rest of that now. And I also just made a piece of buttered sourdough toast. I love sourdough. I'm gonna eat that. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm hype about it because it's now gray outside and I think it's rainy. And the best thing I feel like when it's that weather is soup. That's my update. Hello. I can never get these ankles right on the first try when I set the camera up. Is that better? Yeah. All right, hello everyone. It has been a couple of hours. Took like a 40 minute nap which was amazing and I very much needed that. God, what else did I do? Um, I cleaned up my living room, I emptied the dishwasher, I ate dinner, I paid my rent, and now we're here. I'm back in a different location to finish up the rough cut of this video. This is simply why I felt like it was necessary to get a one bedroom apartment when I was doing my search because working from home, it can be kind of difficult to just like sit in the same space all the time by yourself. Changing scenery, even if it's something small, like walking 20 feet into another room, it helps. I am ready. I'm feeling good and I'm gonna get this finished up so that tomorrow I just have to do the creative edit, which is a lot more fun because that includes picking out all the music and you know, doing all the stuff I already told you goes into the creative edit. I will be proud of myself and I will have set myself up in a good position for tomorrow once I finish the whole rough edit. I have a podcast on in the background on my TV. I like to do that sometimes. I like to have some type of like background noise. I don't know, sitting in silence for too long is weird for me. Even though I'm not in silence because I'm listening to myself talk, but I think that's the problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna play this and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna edit. And then I'm gonna reward myself with a Reese's peanut butter cup heart when I'm done. <laughs> still entirely too long. I started off with about an hour and 45 minutes and got it down to 29. Um, I'm definitely gonna be refining it some more tomorrow when I do the creative edit, but that is tomorrow's problem. I'm so happy I got it done and in good time too. It's only about 8.30, so I can still call my mom and watch um, one of our shows together, which is one of my favorite things to do at night. <sighs> I just feel so much better and I know that I've set myself up really well for tomorrow to get this video done and then I have to turn it in by 8 p.m. because I sent it to my management team and they're based out in California. So 8 p.m. Eastern is their end of business day, 5 p.m. Pacific, which is really advantageous for me because I get three extra hours to work on things when I have to have them by end of business. But yeah, now all I have to do is get cleaned up. Well, I'm probably gonna watch TV with my mom first because she goes to bed early and then just get cleaned up and go to bed and wake up and do it all again tomorrow. Yay. Yay, we did it. All right, I'm gonna go and I will catch up with you guys later. I mean, the work day is over, but I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi, it is so many days later, it's not even funny. That's gonna be it for today's vlog of this little work day in my life. YouTube is the most amazing job in the world and I am incredibly privileged and lucky and grateful to be able to do this. Not only is it fun and it makes me happy and it's an amazing creative outlet, but I feel like I'm learning so much and I'm able to network so much with people in marketing. I'm learning about marketing and ultimately marketing is what I love and it's what I majored in and I have so many things that I want to do in 
the marketing field and YouTube has been the most amazing first step for me in that like career long progression type of thing that I don't have exactly figured out yet. Hello? <laughs> okay, I feel like I've learned so much doing this and I've met so many amazing people who I've gotten amazing insight from. I'm rambling at this point, but two main points I wanted to get across. One, I'm very, very, very grateful that this is something I was able to turn into a job. And number two, I have more things that I want to do above and beyond YouTube that go even deeper into the marketing field and the marketing degree that I earned. I just have some things that I, you know, want to work on for myself and something that I may want to step into in the future could be near future, depends, I don't know. I don't like to talk about things on the internet before I actually am doing them, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm jinxing myself. This makes no fucking sense. Anywho, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. If you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when a new video goes live, make sure you turn on my post notifications, which is the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get a notification right when I post a new video. Right, Charlie? Are you being crazy? girl right now charlie wants to play so i have to go play now i hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>